The demand for LED lighting equipment enjoys constant growth. LED lighting equipment has a vast market as any conventional lamp can be replaced by more environmentally friendly LED analog. Light emitting diodes are the perfect choice for residential house and apartments as they offer a long lifetime and high power saving parameters. However, the process of designing LED lighting equipment requires careful selection of components so as they are in line with the lifetime and energy performance requirements for end products. Such requirements can be rather strict and challenging. For instance, the rated lifetime of an LED lamp may exceed 40,000 hours. Therefore, it is crucial that all the circuit components correspond to such requirements. Ceramic capacitors used in such circuits may be exposed to high voltages and conditions that differ from regular operating conditions of household appliances. Such conditions may reduce the lifetime of ceramic capacitors, or to put in other words, the latter may fail before the rated lifetime expires. Let us consider the reasons for such a problem. There is a standard LED lighting circuit. C1, C2 and C3 should be safety capacitors rated for AC voltage of 250 volts. C6 is an LED restraining capacitor. Its rated DC voltage may vary from 250 to 630 volts, while its temperature characteristics should be X7R. C7 is a full defect transistor restraining capacitor. It should be designed for high voltage, i.e. for DC voltage ranging from 630 volts to 1 kV. Murata recommends using temperature compensation capacitors or UTJ capacitors. C8 is a secondary circuit smoothing capacitor. Any capacitor rated for 100 volts will work. C4 and C5 capacitors, i.e. primarily circuit smoothing or filter capacitors, are exposed to the most unfavorable effects. The typical operating voltage of such capacitors takes the form of rectified full-wave oscillation. People often use wrong capacitors with X7R temperature characteristic ready for DC current of 250 volts as C4 and C5 capacitors. But the problem is that when rectified, full-wave voltage is applied to capacitors at high value of dielectric constant. The electrostrictive effect occurs, which may cause cracks in non-conductors and further breakdown of capacitors. All non-conductors can sustain the electrostatic effect. When the AC voltage is applied, a capacitor stretches and shrinks in different directions. Mechanical deformations and stresses are accumulated at the edge of the capacitor's external electrode. If the applied AC voltage is too high and the material has strong non-conductor properties, cracks may potentially occur under the external electrode, which results in short circuit and breakdown.